Here at London College of Communication, we're really excited to be showing for the first time a selection of our doctoral students' work. We're particularly known for what we call practice-based research. In fact, we're, we're one of the leaders in that for the last 20, 25 years. And one of the things that we're really keen to do is to shine a light on that fantastic work so that we can all benefit from the insights that our students are making. So the work I'm exhibiting in this wonderful show, uh, Unfolding Narratives, is called Spectrum Notes. The research question really is about can avant-garde film strategies really help to tell difficult stories? I'm a first year part-time student and my research is around narrative drawing and story worlds. I've just finished a PhD. My area of research was looking at scientific visual communication, specifically conceptual figures. So it's a very niche area, um, but I used to be a scientist, so it's an area that I know well from the science side. I really want to see what graphic design could, could bring to this area to improve it and help scientists create these figures. Uh, this research contributes to challenge the stereotype of Volvo's historical symbolic representation in graphic images and awaken the consciousness of female self-acceptance through directly visualizing female genitalia characters. I always try and show work as much as I can because it's, really, it's always a really good chance to kind of work some of your ideas through in an actual environment rather than just your studio. All the students have worked together as a team to, to make it happen, which has been really nice. So uh, the performance is a one-to-one -one performance piece where I act sort of like a strange therapist, asking a lot of questions about inner sounds, what they mean to people, do they hear sounds in their minds. It's very hard to document that without ruining the actual performance. It kind of plays a little bit on the fact that it can be quite uncomfortable to be asked all of those things and it's just a little bit too intimate at times and that's what we try to capture, like it's just a little bit too close with someone you've maybe never met before. It was an opportunity for people who are not academically familiar with my work to give me first-hand experience of what they saw. So it felt a very unpressured critique coming from friends, which is really helpful. I teach here. So students from the course that I'm currently running were in here. It's quite nice to be reminded of how engaged our community is. The good thing about being in an exhibition like this is just the breadth of, of research that's on show uh, and meeting the other students and seeing what they're presenting. PhD research can be very isolation at times, you know, you're on your own little bubble. So it's good to come out of there and see just what's going on with the other PhD students. It's always very inspiring to see other students' work.